Welcome back, Own It 2013. My name is Harrison Welshimer with Music Munch, and I'm sitting with Nathan Maxwell of Floggy Molly and the Bunny Gang. Nathan, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank A you. real pleasure. Awesome set. Thank um, you. We were just talking. Really like how you're using music to um, personalize your message or, or convey your message. Can you uh, talk about what that is, what, what your beliefs are in your music? What my beliefs are in my music? Well, you know, music has always <clears throat> been a way to communicate um, a message or, or a, a point, a point of view. And, you know, my point of view is, uh, is pretty simple. It's, I think it's most people deep down, it's the same point of view. You know, you, you want to love your neighbor, love your family. And, and when you start thinking about it and you, you start thinking really core about it, you know, you realize this is one small pale blue dot in this cosmos, you know, it's one, it's our earth and we're all family on that. Mm -hmm. So you, you, you want to love everybody, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's pretty simple and that's it. And, uh, and so then you, you kind of look, you take a critical look at the world and, and you see these uh, kind of seems like never ending wars that we're in this cycle right now in life. And, and you know, you're, you're raised to think, oh, that's just the way it, it's, it is. It's the way it was, it's the way it is, it's the way it always will be. And I just fundamentally disagree with that. Yeah. And I'm not alone. And uh, so that's the message, you know, be critical, think for yourself and uh, go out there and, you know, be proactive to make the world a better place. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And using music to, to change that. that world, yeah, well, I like world. dancing. I like singing. I like mm -hmm. music. And I, I don't really like listening to people preach. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So I'd rather, I'd rather, you know, first let the music hit people. And then if they feel like listening to the words, then do so. And if they feel like, oh, maybe it relates or resonates with them as the truth or something that inspires them, um, beautiful. Job mm -hmm. well done. If not, that's fine, too. It's just music. Right. You know? Yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's just Nothing music. to get upset about. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, tell us about the, your journey, how you got involved in music, and then into Floggy Molly and now uh, the Bunny Gang. Well, you know, I grew up with a very musical family. My father's a musician, and... Um, when I was a young boy and growing up, he was pursuing his musical career. And so I'd see him sometimes on the weekends and uh, kind of follow him as a child, watching my dad in, in these different bands. And so I, I did grow up going to rehearsal studios and, um, you know, once in a while be able to go to a concert. So I was always around music and uh, just loved it. And at a young age, I knew that's what I wanted to do. And um, like most people, I just with my neighbors around me, I formed bands. Mm -hmm. I was really into to, uh, punk rock at the time. Like Dead Kennedys was my favorite band. And so me and Mike Peralta, the bass player of the Bunny Gang, we started our first ever band called PBS and toured. And I, and I, but I was so serious about it, and I, and I just kept looking for more and more. And I eventually found what would become Flogging Molly. Mm -hmm. And um, I um, joined that band at a very young age. Uh, I've been in that band for half of my life, mm -hmm. and uh, but I've always written songs, and the songs I've been writing over the years didn't necessarily lend themselves to Flogging Molly, and instead of trying to like stick a triangle into a square hole, yeah, I, I figured I'll just do it on my just do something different, do a different musical style, and uh, that's where the Bunny Gang comes in, and so you know I'm very much a member of Flogging Molly will always be, it's been you know like I said half my life in that band so far. And uh, the Bunny Gang is um, is as near and dear to my heart. It's just, mm. it's a different sound. And uh, it's something that, that I just want to continue with. You know, for me, music is um, a lifelong journey. I don't prescribe to the theory that music is for the youth only. No, I think that's a pretty not. sad way to look at music. Um, you know, like Willie Nelson said, I was, re doing a, I was uh, reading an interview and someone said, hey, when are you going to retire? And Willie said, all I do is play music and play golf. Which one do you want me to give up? <laughs> I don't play golf yet, but if it's good enough for Willie, it's good enough for me. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So that was all that, that started in Southern California, Yeah. right? And now I was reading um, you guys' about page on, on the Bunny Gang. You guys are now based in Denver. We are. Correct. So, yeah. uh, what? I mean, from that musical oasis that everybody knows, like LA is music industry powerhouse. Right. What? Uh, 
I guess, uh, made you move to the 5280? Well, I moved to Denver not for business. I moved here for family. I moved okay. here to raise my family, and um, my, we just thought it was a better place to be, and, and so far we, we, we find it to be so. Great, um, great. We love it here, and I, I don't ever see myself leaving Colorado. I truly love it here. I know I'll never be a native, but... Um, I'm, I'm not either. You know, whatever, <laughs> you know. But I love it, yeah. I think the natives laugh at that, you know. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I just, I just love it here. And the reason why the rest of the band came here is because I'm here. And, uh, you know, I started the Bunny Gang and the other guys, you know, the, the, the drummer and the bass player, both from Southern California, they came out here for that. And we met Nat, who was born in Denver. He was raised internationally. His, his uh, parents were missionaries. Um, but um, when we met him last year, or the year before that, it just really gelled, and we felt like, okay, finally we have a band. Yeah. And so really the band formed in Denver because it wasn't a band until Nat joined. Before that, it was kind of me, and I wrote, made a record, and I put some musicians together around that. Got it. So that really, I, happens I, a lot now, I consider I the Bunny Gang a total, true Denver band. Nice. Yeah. And do you find that Denver scene vibrant in, in its music scene, and, and do you see Denver is becoming possibly a hub for music within this country. I think Denver's always been a hub in its own way. Mm -hmm. I, you know, you look at, you know, back in the 70s with Caribou Ranch, and, you know, Denver's obviously the main city in Colorado. Um, so many artists have come through here, cut their teeth in here in Boulder and um, Netherlands. And, um, I think in its own way, Denver's always been a hub, and it still is. And now you have a lot of pop bands uh, coming out of Denver, pop rock bands, mm -hmm. um, hip hop bands. Um, so, uh, you know, the truth is I'm new to the Denver scene. I, I'm excited to become part of the Denver scene. Mm -hmm. um, I've been spending most of my time touring and then at home with my family. But I really, uh, I'm kind of starting a new chapter where, um, with the Bunny Gang specifically, I just want to focus on Denver yeah. and focus on Colorado because I really, you know, like I said on stage, I really think this is the greatest place in the world right now to be. Yeah, I'd like to hear that, because that's how I feel, too. I yeah. just feel the energy here is really propelling, mm -hmm. you know. So for starting a business, for being a musician, whatever it is you're doing, there's just really positive energy in Denver. Yeah. And that's, yeah. I, yeah, I guess that's what I was trying to ask, but you said it, you know. Yeah, yeah that's a great place. <laughs> awesome. Bro. Yeah. Great. Well, the last question I wanted to ask is this – entire event own it is about having your own business or having something that you're passionate about and making the sacrifice to pursue it mm. what does what do those two words own it mean to you well you know it means owning your life and everything that encompasses because all you have is your life and it's yours mm -hmm. and it's nobody else's and uh that's, I think, the most crucial thing for you to realize. You know, without ever gaining independence from whatever it is, from uh, your parents, from government aid, from whatever you're dependent on, from uh, drugs or alcohol, whatever it is, get off it. Yeah.